Dear brothers and sisters, what I am about to tell you is truly an extraordinary story. It is the story of Floribeth Mora Diaz and how her life was saved through the intercession of the Holy Father. Before I continue, I invite you to subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss any new videos and become part of our community of faith and prayer. It was April 8, 2011, when Floribeth, a 48-year-old woman, married and mother of four children, was struck by a severe headache. The pain was so persistent that she had to rush to the emergency room of Max Peralta Hospital in Cartago, 25 miles from the capital of Costa Rica. The test results revealed a terrible diagnosis, a ruptured fusiform aneurysm in the right middle cerebral artery with subarachnoid hemorrhage. For the doctors, there was little they could do. The aneurysm was so severe that they couldn't intervene, so they told Floribeth's husband to take her back home. Overwhelmed by grief, her husband returned home and decided not to give up. He sought the intercession of Pope John Paul II for his wife, placing a photograph of the Holy Father near a small altar they had set up in their home. Those were the days when preparations were being made for the beatification of Pope John Paul II, which would take place on May 1st at 10 o'clock in Italy. Floribeth had prayed for the strength to watch the live broadcast, even though it would be 2 a.m. in South America. So, on that day, despite the medication and her precarious health condition, she stayed awake and placed the photograph of Pope John Paul II, taken shortly after his election, next to the TV. In the photo, the Holy Father was blessing the crowd with his arms open wide, as if wanting to embrace everyone. At the beginning of the beatification ceremony, as Floribeth gazed at the photograph of the Pope, she directed her thoughts to the Holy Father. She asked him to intercede with God, telling him that she did not want to die and to help her heal. The woman stayed awake throughout the religious service and only fell asleep when it ended. The next morning, Floribeth woke up around 9 o'clock. As soon as she opened her eyes, she turned towards the photo of Pope John Paul II and made the sign of the cross. It was at this moment that something incredible happened. While staring at the photo, she felt as if the voice of the Holy Father was saying to her, Rise, do not be afraid. She had the sensation that in the photo, Pope John Paul II was moving his arms, gesturing for her to get up. In disbelief, the woman decided to rise and went to the kitchen, where she met her husband, who was amazed to see her standing. Floribeth felt a great inner peace, but above all, she felt well physically and mentally at that moment. However, she did not feel comfortable sharing what had happened with her husband, as she did not want him to think she was crazy. From that day on, Floribeth no longer experienced any discomfort. A subsequent medical visit and two additional magnetic resonance imaging scans performed in the following days and months confirmed that there was no longer any trace of the aneurysm. The tests confirmed not only her good health but also the complete absence of any remnants of the aneurysm. The woman was inexplicably declared healed. This miracle took place on the same day as the beatification of Pope John Paul II and contributed to his canonization and veneration. Now, after recalling the extraordinary miracle of Pope John Paul II, we must remember him and embrace his teachings, carrying them forward in our lives. We must learn from the example of this great preacher of the gospel and spread the joy of God's love to all whom we encounter. May his spirit continue to guide and inspire us. May his testimony support our journey of faith. And may we learn from him to live each day as a precious gift. Pope John Paul II, pray for us and teach us to live with passion and dedication for the kingdom of God. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel to become part of our community of faith and prayer. God bless you.